Hey guys, welcome back to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the escape slider widget presented by the Prime Slider add-on for Elementor. First we are going to turn off the autoplay from the slider settings option to make the slider fixed on its position. On the slider section, let's open the first slider item and then click on the image fill to change the slide image. Then you can change the title text for the slide followed by the read more text and button link. To change the description text, you can switch to the optional subsection and change it. You'll also find the title link field above the text field. Once done, the first slide is ready. With that in mind, you can customize the rest two slides following the same procedure. Alright, now let's click on the arrows on the top to navigate the slides and see what it looks like. Now let's move to the top. Click on the layout section and here we can adjust the total height of the slider with a scroll bar. Not to mention the content width comes with another scroll bar for adjustments. Below are some switchers and a field where it lets you hide the description text on the certain devices. Again, there are some switchers that can show or hide elements from the slider. And a content alignment option, you'll find it at the bottom. Alright, going back into the slider settings where you'll find some settings to customize the animation timing on the slider. Like autoplay, pause on hover, play speed, slides to scroll at a time, loop, etc. Then moving into the style tab, we can customize the slider appearance to change the interface into something unique. From the first section, let's apply some content padding to shrink the area around the content part and make it more uniform. Below, you'll find three subsections with the title selected by default. Here, you can set a different color to the first word of the title text. Apart from a different color tone on the first word, let's customize the title font from the typography option. Then we can switch to the text subsection and carry out customizations to the text from typography. You'll find familiar options here, so there should be no confusion. Then we will switch to the button subsection. Here, let's customize the border around the button with a thin border width and some curved edges from the border radius values. Set the margin to zero for no changes to the button positioning. Then click on the box shadow option and here we can apply a glow effect around the button with the brighter colors. Adjust the shadow position and blur to find the right angle for the effect. Then we can just make the border color fully transparent for the shadows to look more vivid. Then for hover, we can make the text white and set a colorful background matching the color from the shadow. You can always try different color sets and shadow adjustments for unique variations. Then we can come to the navigation part where you will get up to 23 unique arrowhead styles to choose from. Let's make a choice here. Then you can change the size of the arrowhead with a scroll bar. It might come as a surprise but yes, you can plant a background color behind the arrowheads. Just make those arrows white. Set some border radius and add padding around them to increase the background field area. Once again, zero the margins. In the same way as the button, you can add shadows around the arrows. Right now the arrows don't have hover color. Let's add a deeper color for the background in hover and see how the hover effect looks. Now we can move down a bit and customize the fraction pagination that is visible alongside the arrowheads. Let's edit the hover color first, then change the active color. You can also customize the number typography to match the rest of the texts. Good to go, now you can fold the options panel and give yourself a thumbs up for creating such a beautiful slider interface for your website.
That's all for this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to receive updates on upcoming new tutorial videos. Stay safe and see you next time.